is Short Mutina once again from shortmutina.com. Doing a really quick video recap for ticker HMNY. Right now what you're looking at is a daily chart dating back to about May of 2017, so about four weeks. So I really want to concept, well, a couple of things. One, I've done a ton of videos on HMNY, so if you're new to shortmutina.com, definitely go to shortmutina.com, click on that hot stock picks tab, and you can filter and just search for all my HMNY videos, or you can sign up at my YouTube channel, Short Me Tina, and you will never miss a video once I upload them. Okay, so for those who have been following me and for those that are new, here's my take on HMNY, and I've been pretty vocal, and although, full disclosure, I am long HMNY, I have been a bull, right? Rather, that's incorrect. I've actually been a bear since the stock in the shorter term. I've been a shorter term slash intermediate term bear when the stock broke $2, right? Because from a technical standpoint, the chart was broken. So if you... So, again, if you take like an elongated view of the chart going back to around 10 or 18 years, you'll know that that $2 mark, right, that support of $2 has actually held for about 10 to 18 years. Don't don't quote me, but it's been a long time. And the fact that the stock actually broke that $2 mark on above average volume with range signaled to me that there was a lot of unloading going on, right? And so the stock went from $2 to a low of around 40 cents in less than three weeks, very sh very short trading days, which signaled to me that, it, once again, there was a lot of unloading. So fast forward to today, and it seemed as though, right, we had some excited bulls, um, a lot of buying today, although the range was not that wide. I think on reports that Citadel, Citadel, right, took about a 5.6% stake in HMNY. That's great, that's awesome a vote of confidence for sure, but technically the chart is still broken. So you're gonna ask yourself, well, what should we look for? What should we look to going forward? And for me, right, again, we're not talking about getting back to $2 anytime soon. We're not talking about 10 or 15 or, you know, the highs that we saw late last year around 45. We want the stock to one, stabilize. And I think uh, this 5.6% stake from Citadel might be what we need for the chart to stabilize. Now, going forward, you do not, you can get a retest of the 40 cents low, that's fine. You do not want that level to break, right? If that level breaks, then it's a free for all. And at that point, I think we can see a 30 cent print. We're not there yet. So going forward, 40 cents should serve as the low. And if we can at least make an, at an attempt, we don't need to actually get above, but if we can make an attempt at sort of like breaching this 62 cents or hitting the 62 cents mark, right, where the second level of support broke, um, I think that would bode well for us. I think that would bode well for the bulls. Uh, and it might signify or signal a level of stabilization. So for me as an HMNY long, what I'm looking at going forward is I do not want us to breach that 40 cents low. We can retest it again, just to measure the strength of the bulls, but we cannot breach that. And if we can trade above that, again, we can range. We can go from 40 cents or 50 cents to 60 cents, and we can range you know, for the next two, three months, and I'd be perfectly fine with that. So going forward, not to sound redundant, I just don't want HMNY to break 40 cents. If you're a bull, you do not want it to break 40 cents. You want it to kind of make an attempt at getting to 60 cents because that would once again show that there might be new buyers or more buyers stepping in. And if we can make an attempt, we don't have to sustain that, but making an attempt would be good. So that's my take on HMNY. Head on over to shortmeetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support.